The count was quick and the outcome decisive. Absolute majority. It's been a long road for 78-year-old Oscar Temeru, veteran independence leader in French Polynesia. His Tavini party has won government in its own right with an overwhelming majority. Thank you to this population because this is all I wanted. Overthrowing the French loyalist government of Edouard Fritsch. It's a significant change in French Polynesia. The outgoing government led by President Edouard Fritsch was widely criticised for its mismanagement of the COVID pandemic and there were significant divisions within his Tapura party. The nation of 280,000 people, almost 16,000 kilometres from France, became a colony in 1880 and was the base for their nuclear tests in the Pacific. In 2013, the UN added French Polynesia to its decolonisation list. Generational change. Tavini MP Moatai Brotherson is expected to become president and has a clear vision. I do not want a failed independence, I want a successful independence. The French interior minister in a tweet acknowledged the vote for change and democratic choice asserting their Pacific military presence. A major French exercise is currently underway in another territory, New Caledonia, as it negotiates its future relationship with France. They don't want to be engaged in the same way as Paris around the geopolitical contest that sees France trying to position itself as a player between uh, the United States and China within the region. New Caledonia's pro-independence president, Louis Mapu, is due to travel to Paris shortly for further talks. French Polynesia's leaders will be soon doing the same too. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.